Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian from Quackly Tutorials. Today in our uh, Windows 8 Tips and Tricks mini series, we'll be showing you how to enable Telenet. Uh, Telenet um, can be used to connect to hosts uh, throughout the internet and even local hosts, which we'll definitely be getting into um, in our Android in our Eclipse series developing Android apps with Eclipse we'll be doing it there and I'm sure Mike will be uh, getting into some Telenet uh, uh, some Telenet tutorials in his command prompt uh, Telenet is used via the command prompt and if you were to go ahead and open the command prompt right now which we'll go ahead and do we'll show you without it enabled um, just gonna get this little search bar type CMD hit enter that's going to bring up our command prompt. If we put in Telnet right now, it's not recognized. It's on your machine, but it's not enabled. So in order to do this, it is fairly easy. What we'll do is we'll pull up our control panel. Um, we will go to Programs. And from Programs, we're going to turn Windows Features on or off. This is going to bring up this little pop-up menu, pop-up window, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to scroll down. We do not need to enable the Telnet server. We just need to enable the Telnet client. So click that. Check that off. Click OK. Now, this should also apply to Windows 7, but since this is a Windows 8 mini series, we're not even talking about Windows 7 right now. All right, so it's still applying changes. Should be done any minute now. We're gonna pause this and come back. I mean, it should only be another second, but okay. So it did take a few more seconds, maybe a minute, uh, at least on my machine, for those updates to uh, for those changes to fully apply. You'll be stuck with a little uh, Windows Features box. You'll just click close. At this point, you should be go good to go. You may need to restart Command Prompt, but let's just see. And no, you don't. So, I mean, there's, you know, a bunch of different things that we can do. Um, if you type in Telnet, hit enter, it'll bring up the, uh, it'll bring you into the Telnet client. Um, if you want to open a host, um, type O, and then the host name, uh, we'll go ahead and show you this one. It's towel.blinkinglights.nl. And... Now you can watch Star Wars in your command prompt. It's just going to take a few minutes to boot up. So there you go. Now you're watching Star Wars in your command prompt. Um, another way to connect to um, Telnet without actually initially opening Telnet, initially typing Telnet and pressing enter would be to just Telnet and then the host name. So let's try that again. Okay, and it brings you back here and you know, get away for it to basically load up. And and at this point, you should be good to go. You should have that enabled on your computer. So, uh, you know, if M I'm sure Mike, once again, I'm sure Mike is going to be getting into uh, dealing with some uh, uh, Telnet tutorials. And uh, this week's Android, uh, the, the Eclipse tutorial, we're, we're definitely um, going to be using Telnet a little bit to manipulate the Android emulator. Um, so you can go ahead and definitely check that out. That should be posting to Quackly.com and onto our YouTube page within about the next day or so. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you guys for joining us.